In this scrap mechanic video, we'll go into the code and change the weight of blocks, reduce friction on blocks, make blocks more durable, make robot parts stick around, change inventory stack sizes, and change the number of slots in chests. Hi everybody, Steve from Steve's Makerspace, and today we're doing more simple mods. This time it's shape sets. We're looking at this section, survival objects database shape sets, or in creative mode, data objects database shape sets. I'll have a copy of this path in the description. Let's start with the blocks JSON. I'm opening this with notepad. Let's try messing with the weight of things. Concrete has a weight of six. Scrap wood has a weight of two. So if we do like this, you can see that this is heavier than that. So we go into the blocks. I'll find concrete which I believe it's this cracked concrete. So we'll change that from six to 0 0.001. Make it super light. And let's find the scrap wood. There we go, block scrap wood. Let's change this from two, we'll make it seven. Make it heavy. File, save. And we'll go back in from scratch again. Huh, now they're the same weight. That's odd. So now the wood block is six. The concrete is also six. Okay, they're the same weight. So that must not have been uh, the cracked concrete. Aha, here's the cracked concrete. And you can see that has a weight of one. There we go. And now the wood is a lot heavier than the co cracked concrete. Let's see what happens if we just make a huge block of this. The cracked concrete is not allowing me to delete it. That is very odd. Let's go back in the code. Cracked concrete, erasable false. <laughs> okay, let's make that true. There we go. Now I can delete it. All right, this seems like a nice big chunk of cracked concrete. Let's see how light it is. Whoa! That is super light. <laughs> That's funny. It's like styrofoam or something. So I had hoped that if I just had a small, a single block, it would like go flying way up in the air. But that's not really the case unfortunately. And I did try making things negative weight. That used to work in Scrap Mechanic uh, years ago, but apparently it doesn't work anymore. Let's try doing uh, an upward trajectory on it. Yeah, I mean, it goes up, but it's not as spectacular as I would have hoped when its weight is only 0 0.001. We can also change the friction of blocks. Let's change the plastic friction from 4 to 0 0.01, I think. All right, that hardly goes anywhere. Vents, I think, is that might be the spaceship vents. If we change that to 0 0.1 also. I'll save. Let me see if there's any other ones. We'll make this one 0 0.1 and let's make this one 0 0.1 because I'm not sure which of these is which. So if that worked and this has really low friction now, there we go. It does. That worked. Nice. There we go. We got a sled. Uh, let me... <laughs> that was funny. Let's look at robot parts. So this has a tape bot head, and I see this minimum min exist max exist type junk. I'm wondering if I change this, will the head be around for a longer time. So if I make this 
Let's make it a thousand and see if it sticks around for a longer period of time. Also, uh, down here, destructible falls, buildable falls. Let's see if we change some of these to true. Can I paint it? Can I erase it? And then show in inventory. Let's make that true also. So now I need a tape bot. Let's spawn tape bot. Oh, I don't have any bullets. All right, we'll just hit him with my hammer. Okay, here's his head. Is it going to disappear? This should go. There it is. There's his head. It's still here. Now it's in my inventory. And I can put it down. I can pick it back up. All right. Oh, I can paint it, right? Let's see. There we go. Now I can paint him. Make him purple. We got us a, a purple paint. Yeah, now if I pick him up, I think it's going to go back to... Wait, where'd he go? Oh, because I'm in unlimited now. Darn it. Place him. And paint him. Now if I pick him up... Oops. If I pick him up, he's back to blue. Right. Just like other things. Okay, let's try... A bot. I mean, I guess we could change the friction of of these parts, which might be a little fun. So if we made the hay bot hay friction 0 0.1, what is this? Hay bot body, hay bot pelvis, and the hay bot hay fork. All right, we're done with the hay bot. Spawn hay bot. Okay, there goes his fork. It's definitely sliding around. Yeah, the only thing I notice is the fork sliding. The other things, I think, seem to be disappearing really quickly. We could change stack size uh, on some things. So this is the fertilizer's 20. Let's find something that has a low stack size and make it higher. Okay, this one has a stack size of five. What is that? Sunshake. Yeah. Why can we only carry five sunshakes? That's kind of silly. Let's make stack size for sunshakes. Let's make it 20. I mean, maybe at least 10. Find stack so we can skip through the rest of them. Uh, that's the pizza burger. No, we should probably keep that low think that's good enough for that and let's see what else we have that has stacks sizes that we can change the stack size of components is that component kits component kit stack size is 10 let's make that 20 also okay how about blueberries blueberries only stacked to 10 why why just make it 20 and oranges Make that 20. What else we got? Carrots. Make that 20. So I don't think I changed bananas. Nope. But I did change blueberries. So there we go. Now blueberries is stacking to 20. Carrots. I think I changed carrots. Yeah, carrots are now stacking to 20. Oranges. Oranges are stacking to 20. I don't have enough component gets to check. I'm sure it'll work. What else could we do? Obviously, we could change the buoyancy. We could change the durability of stuff just for kicks, and we'll make the durability of scrap wood 8. All right, let's change the scrap wood buoyancy also to 9. So we'll check out the durability first. There we go. Super durable. There we go. Super floaty now. Oh yeah, let's do like one block.
Oh, neat. That really spins a lot. I wonder if friction matters in water. Let's go back into my blocks and we'll also, besides having high durability, let's change the friction to 0 0.1 and then do the same thing I just did. See if that makes any difference. Here we go. I don't know that that made a difference. It seems to have gone about the same distance as it was going before. There it goes. Should be sliding along for a while. Alright, let's go back. Go back that way. Slide. Eh. So the interactive the locker has four slots what if i said that the locker now has 20 slots can i do that small chest slots 20. what if we change the small chest to 30 slots where's the big chest oh this large chest must be uh somewhere else all right we'll save this one interactive shared is that the chest, the large chest? I think it is. This is the large chest. Let's, instead of 30, let's try making it uh, 50. Here's the locker. No, I only see four slots. What about this? It's still got 20, and that's still got 30. That did not work at all. Hmm, could it be because it's an existing chest? The slot size is already determined. Maybe it's a new chest. Let's go ch check that out. Small chest, large chest, and the locker. Locker, large chest, small chest. Ah, it worked. Locker's got a bigger space now. 30 in there. And this has a roll bar. Look at that. 50 spots in the large chest. Okay, it did work. That's going to do it for today. If you like this episode, give it a like. Consider subscribing to my channel. Check out my other videos on Simple Mods. Link is in the description. Comments are always welcome as usual. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye now. Steve's Makerspace.